We are both engineers at Valve working on the new Steam Frame headset that's going to be released early next year. The headset has a bunch of cool things. Uh, first and foremost, it's very small, it's lightweight, and it has a modular design. So this is the front part. We call it the core module. This is an entire VR computer that plays your uh, full catalog via streaming. And then also on device, it can, can play some of those as well. This is the head strap that has a battery in the rear for comfort, as well as integrated audio. These are the Steam Frame controllers. They're built for playing VR games as well as uh, your non-VR games. They're fully motion tracked. They have enough inputs to play your current VR catalog, but they also have a split gamepad design with a D-pad, button diamond, triggers, bumpers, and next-gen magnetic thumbsticks to play your current catalog of non-VR games on a giant screen in VR. SteamOS for the first time runs on this device, so just as you'd expect from the Steam Deck, you can uh, hit the power button and have fast suspend and resume. This is a streaming first headset, so we've done a bunch of work in different areas to make the streaming experience amazing. Uh, first and foremost, there's eye tracking built into the lenses that we use to send all of the information for the PC stream to where you're looking. We also include a dedicated adapter so that you have a direct connection between this headset and your PC or laptop. Ability to run VR and non-VR content on the same device. So you can put this on your head, you can bring up the Steam interface that you might be used to from Steam Deck or from your uh, television, and you just get to pick a game, and sometimes those games are VR, and sometimes those games are non-VR. And you can just have fun and not even think about that distinction. I'm, I'm personally addicted to Bellatro, so any device I have, that's the first thing I go to. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm spending a lot of time playing Hades 2 in the virtual theater mode.